Hey there, I'm Emily, and welcome to my beer channel. Meow. This week I am stranded in Lincoln because my car decided to stop working, therefore I have to wait for it to get fixed and improvise in the meantime. So while I'm stuck here at my parents' house, I decided that this week I'll be trying some beers that were brewed in Lincoln. Do you like beer? I also thought it would be a fun time to build a fort in my parents' living room. To build a fort, you'll need blankets, chairs, clothespins, a general know-how on how to build forts. The first beer that we are going to be trying is from Blue Blood. Blue, 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 I've had this problem before. From Blue Blood Brewing Company, uh, Wicked Snout. And since my uh, parents aren't really craft beer drinkers of sorts, uh, the closest thing I found to a beer glass was this awesome-looking wine glass, which I remember giving to my dad back when I was probably like 10 for a Christmas present. So it shows he still loves me. Well, this beer is a very golden color. I have lost all memory of words to describe beer. This beer tastes slightly buttery. The hops add a nice little character to the end, but it's not overpowering like a really happy beer would be. Overall, I give this beer two out of five stars. <coughs> the next beer we are going to be trying is from Modern Monks Brewery, and this is a Dublin size Irish style ale. This beer is a nice deep amber color. I think it smells slightly earthy. I do taste the toasty caramel flavor. Slightly bitter. Overall, I give this beer three out of five stars. <coughs> the next beer we'll be trying is from Empyrean Brewing Company. It's called Chaco Canyon Gold. As the name suggests, it looks very gold. This one smells slightly sweet. This one's very light, uh, slightly bitter with a slight touch of sweetness. This reminds me of Dollar Beer Nights down at the watering hole back when it was a shithole. And come to think of it, I didn't really drink craft beer until I started going to Dollar Beer Nights, so thank you, the shitty watering hole. Overall, I give this beer three out of five stars. <coughs> And the last beer I'll be trying is from one of my favorite breweries, Zipline. I'll be drinking the Oatmeal Porter. Ooh, nice and dark. It smells very rich. That's a good beer. It's just so comforting. Overall, I give this beer three and a half out of five stars. I rate very low. Four out of five stars? Yeah, let's go with four out of five stars. Well, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you think. I'm off to explore Lincoln and ex experience everything that it has to offer. Just kidding. I'm going to sit in my fort and drink beer. Bye!